Welcome to the Speaking History channel to know about causes for the United States War of Independence. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Declaration of Independence The American Revolution, one of the most monumental movements in history, was not just a sudden burst of rebellion in 1775 but the culmination of growing discontent and desire for freedom. For years, the colonists viewed British rule as a barrier rather than a benefit, seeking independence to shape their own destiny. Simultaneously, British missteps and rigid control only fueled the colonists' resolve, leading to a revolutionary confrontation. Causes of the Revolution The American Perspective by the 18th century, the people living in America had evolved differently from their ancestors who had migrated from England in the 17th century. These colonists were descendants of dissenters, radicals, and those who had fled Europe's oppressive religious policies. Having found more freedom and tolerance in America than in Europe, they felt a stronger allegiance to their new home. Over time, the once shared identity with England faded, leading to a deep-seated disconnect between the two populations. The British Perspective The British saw America as their colony, with the colonists expected to serve the interests of their mother country. To reinforce this control, they placed the colonies under royal authority, with governors wielding vast powers on behalf of the British crown. The colonial governments, however, began asserting more independence, particularly in matters of taxation and self-governance, setting the stage for a clash between imperial control and the colony's desire for autonomy. Mercantilism and the Navigation Acts British policies like mercantilism dictated that colonies existed solely to benefit the mother country, serving as sources of raw materials and markets for British goods. This approach stifled colonial self-government and led to a series of navigation acts aimed at controlling colonial trade. These acts, including the Enumerated Commodities Act and the Molasses Act, were resented by colonists, who saw them as an infringement on their economic freedoms. Restrictions on Manufacturing British laws also restricted the colonies from manufacturing certain goods like woolen items and luxury goods, forcing them to import these from Britain. Acts like the Woolen Act, Hat Act, and Iron Act exacerbated colonial resentment, as they were seen as deliberate attempts to keep the colonies economically dependent on Britain. The Removal of the French Threat The Treaty of Paris in 1763 eliminated French influence in North America, removing a significant threat to the colonies. Without the fear of a French-British alliance, the colonies no longer felt the need for British protection, leading to a shift in their relationship with England. The British, however, failed to recognize this shift and continued to view America as an integral part of their empire a view the colonists were no longer willing to accept. Grenville's Policies The war with France left Britain with a massive debt, and Prime Minister George Grenville expected the colonies to help pay it off. This led to the introduction of several new taxes, which were deeply resented by the colonists and ultimately contributed to their push for independence. Crown's Proclamation, 1763 Grenville's proclamation aimed to appease the Native Americans by restricting colonial expansion westward, angering settlers who saw it as a hindrance to their growth. The Sugar Act, 1764 This act aimed to raise revenue and curb colonial smuggling by imposing taxes on imported goods like sugar and luxury items, further straining relations. The Quartering Act, 1765 This law required colonists to house and supply British troops, shifting the financial burden of the army onto the colonies and leading to widespread discontent. The Stamp Act, 1765 This act imposed taxes on all official documents, newspapers, and legal papers, sparking intense colonial protests and leading to the first unified resistance against British rule. The colonies argued that only their own assemblies had the right to tax them, not the British Parliament. Colonial response, the Stamp Act led to widespread protests across the colonies. Massachusetts took the lead by organizing a Congress to oppose the act, 
and groups like the Sons of Liberty emerged to resist its implementation. Their efforts, combined with growing support from sympathetic British statesmen, eventually led to the repeal of the Stamp Act in 1766 a significant victory for the colonists. Declaratory Act and the Townsend Program Even as the Stamp Act was repealed, Britain passed the Declaratory Act, asserting its right to legislate for the colonies in all cases whatsoever. This was followed by the Townsend Program, which imposed new duties on goods like tea and paper and reorganized customs enforcement to ensure compliance. The colonists responded with boycotts and protests, further escalating tensions. Resistance and the Road to Revolution As the British tightened their grip, the colonists grew increasingly united in their resistance. Non-importation agreements were signed, and influential writings like John Dickinson's letters from a farmer in Pennsylvania articulated the constitutional issues at stake. Samuel Adams' circular letter further mobilized colonial assemblies against British policies, leading to the dissolution of several assemblies by the British government. The Boston Massacre and Beyond In 1770, tensions reached a boiling point with the Boston Massacre, where British soldiers killed several colonists during a confrontation. This event deepened the rift between the colonists and British authorities, with annual commemorations fueling anti-British sentiment. Incidents like the burning of the Gatsby further soured relations, making reconciliation increasingly unlikely. Lord North's Measures In 1770, Lord North became Prime Minister and attempted to ease tensions by repealing some of the Townsend duties. However, he retained the tax on tea, setting the stage for further conflict. As the colonies debated their next steps, the radical and conservative factions began to crystallize, leading to the next phase of the struggle for independence. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Catch you in the next one.